Are you thinking of passing up Assembly Road because you don't want to live in the same manufactured yuppie development with fancy named luxury apartments on top of every brand name store in the world? I wouldn't blame you for adopting this mindset. However, Assembly Road does offer many conveniences that could be favorable for a transplant to the area. While Assembly Road is in Somerville, it's not like the rest of Somerville, which has its own flavor of Boston charm. And this is because it's separated from the rest of Somerville by I-93. If you're moving from somewhere in the US, you can probably point out somewhere in your city that is like Assembly Row or something close to it. For example, my hometown of Austin has the domain. Yes, you do sacrifice pretty much all Boston charm if you live at Assembly Row but there are some large pros to living here. First, Assembly Row has its own metro, aka T-Stop. What's cool is that this T-Stop is new. While the orange line that the station sits on has been active since 1975, the current station was opened in 2014 as more residences and businesses were added to the area. So it's a very modern station. In three stops, you're at TD Garden for a concert or a sporting event, and in five stops, you're in the financial district. Second, Assembly Row does offer the convenience of having food, shopping, and entertainment within walking distance. While these spots tend to be chains or bars that are eerily similar to bars in any type of development like Assembly Row, you can't deny that they're close and you can consume as many beverages as you want and know you're going to get home safely. If access to these types of establishments is important to you, it's worth keeping Assembly Row on your list. Third, the residences at Assembly Row are all new. While this is a drawback in terms of Boston charm, it is definitely reassuring to know that you're moving into an apartment with all of the amenities that you're used to in the 21st century. So you don't have to worry about whether or not your apartment's going to have central AC or an efficient heating system, or if it's gonna have laundry or a dishwasher. And if you have a car, you should have the option for parking, for a price, of course. And dogs are going to be welcome in most buildings. One con of the neighborhood is that while you could probably survive without a car, there's a better chance you might want one than in some other neighborhoods closer to downtown. Due to I-93, while you do have a Somerville address, you really aren't within reasonable walking distance to what the rest of the city has to offer. I mean, you could cross it if you wanted to, but it's not going to be the safest walk of your life. You're effectively relying on public transportation to get to anything else in the city. It's almost like being in East Boston and separated from the rest of the city due to the Boston Harbor. The good news is that Assembly Row offers easy highway access depending on the route you take out of the development because there are a couple streets in and out of Assembly Row that at certain times have some poorly timed lights. Also, unless you want to shop for your groceries at Trader Joe's, you'll likely need a car to complete your weekly grocery run. There's a stop and shop just on the other side of I-93, and if you cross the Mystic River, you have a Target and a Costco. I've heard there are plans to complete a bridge that would allow pedestrians to cross the Mystic River from Assembly Row. That would be clutch and definitely increase grocery and other entertainment access for those living in the neighborhood. In terms of budget, you do pay a fair amount for the convenience that Assembly Row offers. A one-bedroom apartment will run you about $3,000, and a two-bedroom apartment will run you right about $4,000. And like I mentioned earlier, newer units do tend to include heat and rent, and that is a huge cost difference in the winter when you compare it to older units that don't include heat. One last note to clear up any confusion in case you hear the term Assembly Square. Assembly Square is the Somerville neighborhood that contains Assembly Row. Assembly Row is the name of the new development within Assembly Square, and present-day Assembly Row really does take up most of Assembly Square. And if you're moving to what is the Assembly Square neighborhood, the odds are overwhelming that you're going to be living at Assembly Row, hence why I titled the video after Manufactured Development instead of an official neighborhood. So this concludes my quick overview of Assembly Row. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the area or if I missed any important aspects of the neighborhood. Please like the video if you enjoyed and please subscribe to see similar videos.